You're not allowing external factors to slow you down, dim you down, quiet you down. So I knew from such a young age that I was a rebel, that I wasn't like everyone else, and that I was here to cause a ruckus. And it wasn't until I was able to start navigating my emotions in a very safe way that my life started to upgrade. If I went to the gym, like the next day, I would be just like bedridden. Like Being a rebel on the rise is about more than just challenging the rules. It's about living the truth that you fought to discover. It's the fire that burns inside of you, forged through battles, failures, and moments most people never dare to face. You've walked through the storms, felt the sting of rejection, and carried the weight of the world on your shoulders. But these experiences didn't break you, they made you. Okay, you guys, so I put a lot of pressure on myself to make these videos and I really pour a lot of creativity into them and think about the scenes and how to splice it all together and do unique things, etc. And... It's funny because sometimes like the best shots, the best scenes are when you just turn the camera on and start talking. And I know that's when my best content comes out as well. So I want to do my very best to fill this channel with that raw and real like unscripted type of stuff where it's just you and me, we're chatting, we're going deep, having these real talks. But then, like, there's a part of me that just loves, like, thinking about the story and putting together cool angles and being really creative, right? So I have to challenge myself all of the time to kind of, like, dismantle that. For me, it's like, let's grab the camera, let's live, let's document it and talk about the things that are coming through me um, in those phases of life, right? So, with that being said, an interesting thing has been going on the last few weeks where I've been working on some health stuff. So, nothing major, nothing scary, but when we came back from Canada, I actually got sick with the you-know-what, and then I got the long version of that, and it just wiped me out. Like, brain fog, dizziness every single day so tired. If I went to the gym, like, the next day, I would be just, like, bedridden. Like, I couldn't even function. Horrible feeling, right? So that was going on for a little bit, and I'm just, like, love to be real with you guys, and my clients were even saying how they appreciate me sharing these types of things with them. So I was going through that, and then I was like, let's get the blood work done and really see, like, where we're at. And so I'm tweaking a few things. Brain fog is at a minimum now. Thank the, the jeebas, because, like, I, you know, if you think about we, what we just talked about, being really creative and putting together cool scenes and things, like, with brain fog, impossible. Even just getting on the camera with brain fog, impossible, right? But you know, being a rebel on the rise, like one, one thing, one behavior that I always have, but let's say the things we didn't expect, a quote unquote negative thing, right? When a negative thing or something I didn't expect happens to me in my life, I'm always like, okay, let's pause here and see what is the blessing in this? What is the lesson in this? How can I f reframe this to make it turn out even better for the greater good of myself and all of those involved, right? And so when I really had to slow down because of my health, it was this beautiful time, this beautiful chance to reflect on who I want to be in the next chapter of my life, how I want to show up, what kind of schedule I want to operate with now, like what kind of services bring me joy and what kind of brand I'm building. Right? So I've always had this gift 
I can tap into and read energy just so naturally, like this is my gift, right? And with energy, I feel like comes emotions, right? And so really emotions are the energy. And a big piece of my life's work, if I look at my gene keys and things like that, is actually um, working with and teaching on emotions, right? And if I think about the rebel rising movement, like if you're a rebel, you're probably just filled with a depth of emotions, right? And sometimes that can feel like a burden or a nuisance, but I, I'm here to remind you that this is what brings the texture, the richness, the, the zest of life. And so I share that to say that a big piece of being a rebel on the rise is learning to love all of your emotions. And to be a human is to feel, to be a, a human is to emote, to have emotions, right? And so when you learn or master playing with them and navigating with them, life just becomes so much more interesting, so much more alive, and, and you don't feel yourself reacting to as much anymore. So you go from being a reactor to more so being like able to respond, right? Where you're responding to life responding to these emotions with love and grace and care and intention and presence and awareness, right? And it wasn't until I was able to start navigating my emotions in a very safe way that my life started to upgrade, that I started to experience more of the things I wanted, right? Like safer, deeper friendships, the most incredible relationship with my partner, Troy, you know, my finances grew, my business grew, my brand grew, you know, my heart felt deeper and, you know, more uh, connected in a way because I wasn't scared anymore of anger or frustration and things like that. Every setback becomes a stepping stone. Every time life tried to push you down, you found a way to rise. You've had to trust yourself when others doubted you. You've stepped away from the comfort zone and found strength in your authenticity. In a world that tries to tell you who you should be, you've learned that your greatest power is in who you are, not who they want you to be. This is for people who already naturally think different. I would be curious to know in the comments, let me know, have you been a rebel since birth or have you kind of grown into rebel tendencies or like a, more of a rebellious nature as you've grown up in life? I'm really curious to know. So I knew from such a young age that I was a rebel that I wasn't like everyone else and that I was here to cause a ruckus. Rock and roll as it relates to awakening the truth and our true spirit, our true nature within every human being, right? So from a young age, I knew I was here to uplift human consciousness. And as I've gotten older and older and tapped into my gifts and learned more about myself, I see like how that's supposed to happen, right? And the, the base, the core of all of this always comes back to your relationship with self. You're not allowing external factors to slow you down, dim you down, quiet you down, or anything of that nature, right? You're just able to hold your own, have a backbone, speak your mind, uh, communicate your needs, really just like owning you. That would be the core principle of being a rebel on the rise. I have actually had this dream, this vision, for a long, 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 long time now to be able to create like the coolest merch ever. And I thought how cool would it be to just like be able to design 
clothes and items for people to use and brand them really well. So I actually already started doing that for Rebel Rising and I'm just obsessed. I made this shirt as one of the first samples and I love it so much. Every time I wear it, I'm like so happy. So part of the Rebel Rising movement will also be this really fun merch drops that I'll be doing, which you can look forward to. I wanted to share with you guys as well the, one of the first iterations of the merch that I created. So I'm living in Mexico and I was like so gung-ho on getting some hats made and so I made these hats. Now I think that something was lost in translation and they didn't turn out exactly how I wanted them but these are still the very first ever pieces of Rebel Rising merch so I still love them just the same and Troy and I get to wear these. So these are the first iterations. You've probably seen them on my socials or one of my videos. This is absolutely not what I wanted them to look like, but it's the first pieces of the vision coming to life, so we have to celebrate that, right? And so I do love them for that, in that sense, but the shirt definitely came out like better than I imagined. And I'm Now I am going to get a burrito, a carrot cake, and start editing this video. I am so excited. To be a rebel on the rise isn't about rebellion for rebellion's sake. It's about carving your own path, about rising above the noise and living a life that aligns with your truth, even when it's hard. It's about taking every lesson, every scar, and wearing them as a badge of honor. It's about choosing your own journey, no matter how difficult it gets. And if you're here watching this right now, you're already on the rise. The challenges have shaped you, the roadblocks have made you stronger, and now you're stepping into the full power of who you were always meant to be. See you in the next one.